it's tough. It's really tough, especially growing up in the city of Compton, because it's so easy to get your hands on negative. 23-year-old hip-hop artist Kendrick Lamar knows what he's talking about. Born and raised, still living in the California city of Compton, an area known for violence, drugs, and gangs. To describe Compton, one word that come off the brain right now is unpredictable. You got to be ready to know that negative is around the corner at any moment. Me, I'm from the hub city, here the Compton court building. Caught a murder when his homie died, just caught feelings. I'm on Rosecrans. He's been rapping about Compton since the age of 13, calling himself, in his words, a good kid in a mad city. Thank you. When I got, actually got on the mic and I heard my voice, it's something about that. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a crazy energy. Kendrick tells me his songs evolved from what he's seen and heard here. And while the struggles have been constant, he's trying to send a message of hope and respect in a lot of his work. When I say these words, hopefully I can change something, whether it's a person or, or, or the neighborhood. It can start with just a small word out the mouth. And the hip hop industry now starting to take notice. Late last year, rapper Dr. Dre, who was given heads up by Eminem's manager, Paul Rosenberg, gave Kendrick a shout out while on a Los Angeles radio station. I'm looking forward to work with this new cat by the name of Kendrick Lamar out of Compton. Yeah, that was it. Uh, I'm trying to learn something new. I'm trying to find myself. I'm searching deep for Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick's recording in the studio on Dre's latest release, Detox. The two photographed together recently at a Lakers basketball game. The young artist has also landed a spot on one of music's most respected magazines, Double XL, one of 11 up and coming talents the industry considers the future of hip hop. But Kendrick tells me the road to this point, anything but smooth. And when we hit the streets of Compton with the young rapper, the memories begin to flood. Oh, it feels crazy being right here, being on this side of town. Just steps from his family's first apartment building, Kendrick remembers walking the streets often with his mom, his dad at work, his uncles, he says, spending time hanging out on the street corners and at the local liquor store. Where are we? This is, this is the county building. Compton County Building, Public Social Services. Every month. Oh, every month. We'll walk down here mm -hmm. and uh, get our support, food stamps, mm -hmm. and we go shopping after that. We're yeah. in the grocery store. This means a lot to me. It represents a struggle. I'm seeing everybody with their kids. I can relate to that because I was them. He was a well-behaved kid in school, making good grades, loved writing stories. His collection of songs, 300 in all, are filled with poetic lyrics and words strung along like random thoughts, similar to what Kendrick hopes reflects a memory of rapper Tupac. Speaking of family and faith, he often questions it all. I found myself losing focus at a Sunday service. Embarrassed, so I start questioning God, what is my purpose? Kendrick's parents never finished high school, moving often in the city of Compton, but they have stayed married. His dad, a constant in his life. I was probably like the only one out of my friends. I had about 30 friends in the neighborhood. I'm the only one that had a pops there every day telling me, yo, don't do that. He believes the family unit, including his grandmother Estelle, kept him focused and alive. Each day, walking six or seven blocks each way to and from high school with friends, Kendrick admits he was shot at several times. We knew times when to walk and when not to walk. You mean gangs? Yeah, gangs. Gangs. So you're in the middle of the gang action. Oh, yeah. Compton. And you know it? Yeah. At that age? Yeah, you know it at the age of, uh, around the age of, uh, of eight. These days, he's in the studio every day, rhyming, writing, and recording. The song entitled The Hard Part 2, one of his most intense works. It gets really emotional for me sometimes because in the booth, I actually cried and broke down on a certain part when I talk about my uncle who in prison, touching on living in the city of Compton, all the negative energy and how we... Uh, self-destruction of our own kind. The kind of life he leads now keeps him busy. Kendrick's first sold-out show was this year in Los Angeles at the Key Club. Dr. Dre, his lifetime idol, made a surprise visit. Next thing I know, I see this dude, this big old giant walk out. I'm like, oh man, said ain't so. He just walks out on me. And Dre walks out, it, it felt amazing, man. I think that was one of the best, one of the, the top three moments in my life. And now with the future limitless, this young dedicated artist can't help but reflect on those who once doubted him. They never said I wasn't talented enough. 
they'll say something like, the industry is shady, you don't need to be doing this. I respect their opinions, but at the end of the day, I had to follow my heart, and that's what I wanted to do. It was a passion. I couldn't shake it, and I'd be hurt now if I didn't stick with it, because it'd always be on my head.